Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on what is virtual memory. You hear the term virtual a lot in computers? Virtual machine, virtual disk, virtual memory at its most simple terms is what your computer uses when it runs out of RAM. So in Windows 7, we'll click Start, Control Panel, go up here and click on System and Security, and then click on System. Now you want to click over here on the left on Advanced System Settings, and we'll pull this down so you can see it. On the Advanced tab, you see Performance. And among other things, visual effects, memory usage, and so on, you see virtual memory. Click on Settings. And what happens is that on a computer, the computer programs want to run in RAM. But when there's not enough memory, we click on the Advanced tab here. You see here, Virtual Memory. A paging file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. So what happens is that when your computer gets low on RAM, you've opened more programs, you've opened more windows, it's running out of RAM. Not everything here is active because some things are in the background. So what it does is it uses RAM till it can't use RAM anymore. And then what it does is it spins off some of these other things into this disk space that it's using like it were RAM. So it may be holding this window in memory on the hard drive and not in RAM. So virtual memory is disk space that's being used as if it were RAM, random access memory. You can go in here and you can change the amount of memory that's utilized for the paging file. You can do it by disk, you can have a general setting, or you can let Windows manage your virtual memory. But the key to this tutorial is that virtual memory is basically just disk space that's being used as if it were memory, and it's used to hold programs that are open and can't be in real memory. And that's all there is to it.